Hi guys, um, I'm in the dashboard of my WordPress website and I'm going to show you how to add a user so they don't get to see all the actual details but they can only post, okay? So this just saves um, like them causing any problems or anything. Okay, I'm going to press on the users menu and now it'll come and list the users that we have on this website so there's two here and if we go across we can see that one is an author and one is an administrator so what we're going to do now is we're going to go back and we're going to add a new user okay so we just press on that now we're going to put a name in here we're just going to say Mick Mick, oh his last name's Mick <laughs> and his email is Mick, fancy that, at hotmail.com and he doesn't have a website but he wants a password, Mick1, Mick, oh, actually I'll just add a few more things on there because <laughs> I don't want everyone signing into this website but anyway it will be deleted um, okay so what we do is yes I've got a weak password that's fine now we go down here and we can say send it to his email well we don't want to do that because I just made up the email and we want to choose what he's going to be now he's definitely not going to be an administrator or an editor but he can be an author okay so let's press on that and we'll press add user okay so now we've got Mick in there and we're going to press on back to all users and then we'll see the list and there's Mick in there right and he's an author Right, so what I'm going to do now is log out and sign in as Mick and see what he sees. So we're going to go Mick and the password, oh, I've got to remember it I hope, and log in. Okay, this is what he sees. He has a few tools, let's check what he's got, which is nothing profile okay he could just choose his profile page color and stuff media okay that would be the pictures he can choose from the pictures if he wants to he can add pictures in or he can use pictures out of the library in his posts comments let's have a look at what's in there um, okay there's comments in there but it doesn't look like he can do anything with them like approve them or anything like that okay so that's good and then we'll go to the post section okay so he can't actually click on anyone else's post and go in let's have a look what happens he can view it okay page not found oh that's because it's a scheduled post so don't panic but let's go down further and see if it's published one it'll actually just go to the website and show us yep okay so Mick can't edit my posts that I've done or Deb's okay but he can add a new post now this is interesting so we press on add new and we just enter in the details like a normal post there we go categories um, search engine optimization stuff down here and all that jazz all right um, well this is what how I add guest posters to my website so they actually have no control over anything except for what they post now the only other thing is that they can publish it but of course you have 
you can just easily go in and delete it or edit it or do anything you like to it. Alright, because if you're the admin, then you're in charge. Alright, thanks for watching.